Alice Neal, an American visual bohemian artist, born on January 28, 1900. She was known for her portraits of family, friends, and lovers and strangers. Neal was influenced by her surroundings. Her work was engaged with her ongoing political, social issues, gender, race and equality, and labor issues. Alice Neal's paintings have an expressionistic use of color and line. Alice Neal captured moments and painted what she saw, such as body language, expressiveness of hands, disproportionate bodies, and spatial expressions. Her work was exhibited all over the United States. She never got the credit for her work until later in life. Alice Neal was one of the greatest portrait artists of the 20th century. Some of her most known paintings are Carlos Enriquez, her husband, and her daughter's fathers, Santiana and Isabella. Pat Wallen, a communist and a union organizer. Dominican boys on 108th Street. Children in the neighborhood in Spanish Harlem. Hartley painted troops the cover of her book and her son Hartley. Pregnant woman, 1971, Nancy's daughter-in-law, pregnant with twins. Andy Warhol, an American artist, director, and producer, was a leading figure in the visual arts of movement known as pop art. Self-portrait, Alice Neal was one of the first women to paint herself nude. She was in her 70s. The focus of many of Alice Neal's paintings were of family, friends, lovers, and strangers. Her troubled life put an impact on her portraits. With her anxiety, her depression, her loss was a major influence in her paintings. Neal came from a very talented family of steamship owners and opera singers. Her mother, Alice Concross, was a descendant of the signatory of Declaration of Independence. I believe this was an influence on Alice to believe in equality, growing up with family that was politically involved. Alice Neal grew up in rural Pennsylvania and graduated from Philadelphia School of Design for Women in 1925. In the summer, she took classes that offered portrait classes, landscaping, drawing, and painting classes. That summer, she meets Carlos Enriquez, a Cuban artist. He was a prominent family from Havana. In June 1925, she marries Carlos Enriquez and they moved to Havana. Neil had her first solo exhibit in Havana. Alice Neil had a daughter. Her name was Santiana. On December 26, 1926 in Havana, Cuba, in 1927, Neil and Carlos Enriquez moved back to New York. Their daughter, Santiana, died a month before her first birthday from diphtheria, the same disease Alice Neal's older brother, Hartley, died from at the age of eight years old. During this emotional time, she started painting and expressing motherhood, loss, and anxiety. I believe this influenced her to create pictures of pregnant nude women. They had another daughter on November 24, 1928, and they named her Isabella. She was influenced by her birth on her second child. She started painting portraits of mothers and babies in a maternity clinic, showing a connection to the portrait of 1971, pregnant woman. They had planned to move to Paris in 1930, but Carlos Enriquez, her husband, moved unexpectedly to Paris without Neil and took their daughter, Isabella. Later, took his daughter to Cuba to be raised by her family. Alice Neil only had a few rare visits with her daughter, Isabella. Later in life, Isabella committed suicide The loss of her husband and her child had caused her to have a nervous breakdown. In 1931, she was suicidal and placed in a suicide ward in Philadelphia General Hospital. 
she started painting portraits of children while she was in the hospital. Neil was released from the same asylum in September 1931 and painted this portrait, symbol, down an apple, 1933. She continued painting. During the time of Great Depression, Neil was one of the first artists to work with Workers Progress Administrative Federal Art Project. She gained recognition in the art world. She still was painting portraits of babies and pregnant women. She was living in poverty and collecting welfare. Alice Neal meets a sailor named Kenneth Doolittle and moves in with her in 1932. He was a heroin addict. In 1934, Kenneth torched 350 watercolors and drawings. He was jealous of her and jealous of her work. Their relationship ended. Neil later had two boys by different fathers, Jose Santiago, a nightclub entertainer, and Samuel Brody, a Marcus filmmaker. She began to paint little boys as her children Richard and Hartley grew up. Both fathers were absent from their lives. In the 1970s, Neil was involved in embracing the feminist movement. During the second wave of feminists, Women were recommending equal wages and better health care. Women were taking zero tolerance for discrimination or sexual harassment in the workplace. Alice Neal was commissioned to paint portraits for the cover of Time magazine at least twice. Kate Millett, a feminist activist in 1970. Kate Millett was an American feminist writer, educator, artists, and activists. During that time, Ellis Neal decided to paint the Pregnant Woman series of 1964 and 1978. This was all taking place during the women's liberation movement. Ellis Neal, friends and family were getting pregnant. That's what inspired her to start painting the pregnant series, New Pregnant Woman. She wanted to expose the changes in a pregnant woman's body as they're going through their stages of their pregnancy. She captured their emotions and their anxiety through their facial expressions and posture. Ellis Neal painted pregnant nude women because women were always painted in a sexual way. Pregnant Woman, 1971, oil on canvas, 40 times 60. You can see the picture of the painting in this textbook, Exploring Art, A Global Thematic Approach, 5th edition, and Chapter 6 on page 161, figure 628. The painting is a private collection. The painting is of a nude pregnant woman laying on a couch. The couch has a green shading of the woman's imprint shaping around her pregnant nude body. The woman looks drained, unnourished from the baby's taking her nutrients. She has dark circles underneath her eyes, perhaps from exhaustion from the uncomfort from the pressure of the baby's weight. She has a bold stomach and large dark brownish nipples. The woman has stringy black hair up to her shoulders. Her head is resting on one hand and the other is laying across her ear hugging the couch. She has a brown pillow behind her head. The woman has yellow, pale skin. Her ribs are exposed. She has thin arms and legs, which shows the unnourishment. Her facial expression shows that she is overwhelmed with restless, nervous, afraid to give him birth. The exposure of the posture of her body, laying on the couch with her legs tightly bent, knees touching close to each other, exposing her buttocks. This gives me an impression of hardship, poverty, and stress. The posture of her pregnant body laying on the couch may also suggest the balance of her life as the new life takes over. There's a male image in the background, elevated and behind and above her. He looks irritated from the expression of his face. He has white or perhaps gray hair with dark eyebrows. He has palish green skin. The presence of him in the image represents authority. The male image gives me an idea that this is the man and the father of the unborn twins. 
The color of the paintings are white, beige, green, gray, dark brown, and black. The tone of this portrait gives me the impression of stress, sickness, depression, and loneliness. The painting has expressive organic lines, lines that outline the couch, lines that outline the pillow, the lines that outline the painting on the wall, the lines that outline her body, the lines that outline her face, her arms, her legs, her nipple, swollen belly, feet, and buttocks. Shape. The pregnant woman has shape. The couch has like an oval shape. The painting on the wall has like a rectangle shape. The shape may create an illusion of a three dimension from the couch. Color. Warm colors are used. Light brown, yellow, the neutral colors used were tan, beige, and cream. Cool colors used was green and white. These colors were used in the painting the pregnant woman body has tan, beige, yellow, and green skin, brown nipples with the black hair. The green around her represent sickness. The yellow represents an nourish or drain. There's a brown pillow behind her. Blackish gray outline of the couch. The picture on the wall uses white grayish brown hair with yellowish green skin. Space. The background is full of negative space because there is nothing occupying except the outline of the couch and the portrait above her. The balance is a symmetrical balance because the painting has two visual balance sides but are not mirror images of each other. The emphasis the focal point is the woman because she is a pregnant and nude. The contrast, the light versus dark. The pregnant woman is light and the dark is forming of her figure in dark. Same with the portrait behind her. It goes from dark to light in his face and around is dark. Nancy and the twins, Alexandra and Antonia, are both born to Richard and Nancy in New York. Alice Neal was unappreciated for years, but at the end of her life, she gained a lot of fame. President Jimmy Carter presented her with the National Women's Caucus for Art Award, an outstanding achievement in 1979. In 1981, she became the first living American artist to have a major retro perspective exhibit in Moscow. Alice Neal appeared on Johnny Carson shows at her final days of battling cancer in 1984. I have chosen Alice Neal because she was a feminist and a firm believer of equality. She experienced emotional setbacks and depression during her lifetime. She lost her first daughter from a disease. Her second daughter was taken from her husband and he deceived her and abandoned her and took her child out of the country. She raised two boys on her own from different men. All these tragedies that occurred in her life inspired her to become the woman she became. Neil was influenced by her surroundings. She created realistic expressionism, paintings of children, pregnant women, and men. Alice Neal inspired me because she's a strong, independent, single mother with a career that was very successful. I went through similar setbacks. I have lost who I thought was my soulmate by abandoning my children and myself. I am a single mother, a student, achieving my goals, accomplishing the career of my choice. Neal is an example of a woman with strength and confidence.
She's an inspiration, especially to single women and single mothers. I was drawn to the painting, Pregnant Woman, 1971, immediately because I can relate to it. I bear children. I saw the expression of discomfort in her face. The woman had the look of lacking nutrients and almost lifeless, the way I felt on the day of my final days of giving birth. Mother and Child Bond. For my artwork, I decided to use my eight-year-old son, Zayden, and myself as the focal point. I am laying down on my couch in the front room. My head is resting on one arm, and the other arm is crossed over my head and hugging the couch. I have a pillow behind my head. My son, Zayden, is kneeling beside me and above me. He represents the future. He is my inspiration and he gives me purpose. I can relate to Alice Neal, the artist, as well as the painting I chose in Pregnant Woman, 1971. We are all mothers and have an immediate bond with our children. From the moment the fetus starts producing, we are connected I may have given my child life, but it gives me a reason to live. My child comes first before anything. My child gives me strength to keep me going when I want to give up. My child is my strength and my weakness. He is the only one that can break me or inspire me. Both women, Alice and Neil, Pregnant woman, 1971, can relate because they are mothers.